Dr. Werner Swisher, the CEO of Career and Recovery Resources, and Tom Wilson, who is also a staff member of the organization, a veteran who's been involved as well. We'll get more on how much you've been involved going forward. Tell us, what is uh, Career and Recovery Resources? What does that organization do? Kimbrell, thank you very, very much for having us again. You had us last year, and uh, it's always a pleasure to be back and, uh, and visiting with you. As you know, and for our audience, Career and Recovery Resources is a United Way agency. We've been around since 1945. Our mission is to help people identify and overcome barriers to employment. That's what we focus on. We know that life can be complicated. We know that there are challenges. And we know that individuals may be homeless. Individuals may have been laid off. Individuals may become uh, transitioned mm -hmm. as a result of a merger. Mm -hmm. We want those individuals to come to us so we can help them find employment. And then you do that through how many, what kind of ways do you do that? We do that uh, by serving persons with barriers, and we have various programs to do that. Our name is Career and Recovery Resources. Careers deals with employment. Recovery deals with substance abuse, drug and alcohol. Mm -hmm. All of our clients do not have a drug and alcohol. Many of our clients do not, but some do. That's the recovery part. Those clients that are in that program will have, in addition to having an alcohol or drug issue to deal with, and we're very proud that we have outstanding counselors to provide treatment services licensed by the state. Mm -hmm. Those persons will also be very likely an ex-offender. So do you realize that there is one barrier, the substance abuse, another barrier, the uh, a situation that they've dealt with in the criminal justice system and having that on their record, we want to help those individuals get back into society, and Tom mainstream. Wil and Tom Wilson's one of those people as well. Tom, you've been involved with this organization for how long? Three years. Okay. Uh, Dr. Swisher and I knew one another uh, through United Way for many years. Uh, when I retired from executive recruiting, uh, we were at an annual meeting and I told him I'd like to work with homeless veterans or veterans in general as I am a veteran and I understand your dad was a veteran. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, so I've been aboard about three years uh, helping uh, with veterans, helping with other individuals with barriers. An example, if I can, uh, we had an army veteran uh, came out, was in the IT business from his experience in the uh, U.S. Army. Uh, company downsized, he lost his job, he had just purchased a home uh, and uh, he was losing his automobile and his home uh, because he hadn't gotten employment. We helped him, uh, he is now, uh, he started off at $20 an hour working for an IT firm and all is well uh, on the home front. You talk about barriers, you talk about breaking them, and you have this annual lunch that's a big deal. It's it is a big deal. It's not just a lunch, 21st <laughs> annual that's Barrier right. Breakers Luncheon coming up, and you're honoring uh, the uh, Mayor uh, Turner and you're also former Harris County Judge Robert Eccles. Yes. Why choose those gentlemen, and what is the, the purpose of the Barrier Breakers Lunch? Well, they represent Barrier Breakers. Think about it. Mayor Turner uh, grew up in Acres Home, uh, there in the Garden City area, still lives within that Acres Home area. Mayor Turner said one day as he was walking down the street of Houston, Texas, looking at the big buildings as a youth says, you know what, I want to be in one of those buildings one day. And now he's a mayor of the city. Right. Isn't that a barrier breaker? Right. He's very engaged, love this city, loves to be out within <laughs> the community serving. When there was that tax day flood, he was out there, right. wanting to make sure that everybody in the Greens Point area uh, were served. And Judge Eccles? And Judge Eccles, big barrier breaker. Remember Katrina? Right. Remember how right. cities uh, in America were saying, don't send the New Orleans evacuees here? Not here. Okay. Judge Eccles was welcoming them, along with, at that time, Mayor White. Mm 
And he's continued that kind of interest in the community. You know, he wants to uh, uh, help build the fast train from Houston right. to Dallas. And I said to him, Robert, that's a barrier breaker also. Yeah. So they represent barrier breakers. And it's very, very important for our clients to see this kind of success because we will have store clients at the luncheon and they will tell their stories. Tom mentioned a veteran story. We have various groups. We have serving people with disabilities, serving people who are hearing impaired. You're gonna hear from a store client that is deaf. Uh, you're going to hear from other star clients. Well, I want to make sure that we let everybody know about this uh, 21st annual Barrier Breakers Luncheon. It's coming up on Tuesday next week, the 27th at 1 p.m. at the Hyatt Regency, honoring Mayor Sylvester Turner, former Harris County Judge Robert Eccles. You heard about some of the other yes. stars who will be there. Tickets are $200, but you know what? It, whether you can do that or not, you can make a donation. Absolutely. You can go to www.careerrecovery.org. Thank you, Dr. Fisher. Thank you, Tom Wilson. <laughs> For being very welcome. Here. Emerald, I just want to say it starts at 1130. 1130 and we plan it till one o'clock. We plan to be aware at one. Thank you again. Very we good. greatly appreciate being with you. Thank you for everything you guys do. We appreciate it. All right. Final thoughts. A look ahead to next week.